um, uh, protocol. So, Michael Thornburg. Thank you, Heidi. <laughs> so, I'm going to be talking to you today about uh, RTMFP application level multicast in the Flash Player. For quite some time, Flash Player has had the ability to stream live video and audio uh, through Flash Media Server to one or more subscribers. The uh, Flash Media Server has to send a separate copy of the stream to each of the subscribers. In Flash Player 10 and Air 1.5, we've added a new UDP-based protocol called RTMFP. Uh, as you saw this morning, RTMFP also, oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> As you saw this morning, RTMFP also has the ability to stream live media directly between Flash players. The publisher has to send a separate copy of the stream to each subscriber. And there's typically insufficient bandwidth at the publisher to send the stream to more than a few subscribers at once. Uh, what we've been working on is a way to overcome that limitation. <laughs> uh, application level multicast lets the publisher break a live media stream into pieces and deliver those pieces through a cooperative, self-organizing, peer-to-peer mesh. Each subscribing peer reassembles the pieces. Thank you. Uh, each, each subscribing peer reassembles the pieces and displays the, uh, the stream. So that's a publisher with limited bandwidth. Uh, use P2P technology to publish the stream to a large number of subscribers. So now, let me show you it. So what I'm going to do here is create a, uh, uh, a group specifier and publish into it. And also I'm going to copy that specifier into my clipboard for ease of use later. And hopefully, I have Russell back in the back, uh, backstage waving at us here live. And now, start a couple of subscribers up to this and just paste in the description of the group and uh, we should begin streaming here. <laughs> Start a couple more here. <laughs> and I'll just, uh, just paste these in here. Yeah, so I got this. So of course, you know, the limitation of this demonstration is I have one screen and one computer. So this is really going peer-to-peer -peer between these instances of the Flash player on the loopback interface of the computer I have backstage. Uh, obviously, it would be cooler to show you thousands or millions of these running all at once, but that was impractical in this, uh, this kind of environment. But I can start quite a few of them up here. And, uh, and all this data is traveling not only between the publisher and a couple of these, but between them uh, in random pieces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, and I could just keep doing this until this computer ran out of uh, CPU to be playing back all of these streams at once. If I had more computers, I could just keep going basically for forever. <laughs> experienced design manager with the mobile and devices group. Uh, he actually has been Adobe for six years, but he was only recently uh, upgraded from Canon fodder to noob. Uh, so although uh, I don't really believe he's a new kid on the block, he's introducing something called Nitro, which is a new kid on the block. It's a new pla uh, platform for widgets. So now introducing Matt Snow. Hey everyone. So I'm going to speak really quickly, I have a lot to cover, so in order for you to all be able to listen effectively, I encourage you to close your eyes during my presentation. So let's start by saying what Nitro is not. Nitro is not an SUV, Nitro is not a wrestler, 
Nitro is not a bad movie or a terrible 80s hair band. And Nitro is not the American Gladiator. So Nitro is a platform to design, build, and distribute Flash widgets on multiple screens. Well, what's a widget? We have a definition in Adobe. It's a small, single-purpose application written in Flash that an end user can place on the web, desktop, TV, or mobile device and is virally distributable. So right now, the widget space is extremely fragmented. Even though 80% of all web widgets are created in Flash, it's very difficult for developers to support multiple platforms and it's very hard for end users to have the same widget experience on multiple screens. So with Nitro, you can design widgets in Flash for many targets. You can widgetize your existing Flash content and use our new Adobe services to make widgets portable and viral. So let's say I'm surfing the web. I come across a widget here. This is the uh, Sony Pictures widget, the purple one in the upper right hand corner. If I have Nitro enabled on the desktop, I can take that widget and drag it directly onto the desktop. When I do, it becomes a widget. What you also see here, this gray thing, is a dock, the Adobe Nitro dock. And it gives me a really glanceable view of all my currently installed widgets. It also is very dynamic. It's pulling some dynamic information in there, in some text, and also in the form of an icon, so you can imagine the current weather situation. If I don't like that gray, which I actually don't like that gray, I can take a photo and, and drag it in and change the look of my dock. Now, if I have Nitro enabled on my mobile device, when I log into my, my mobile client, either with an open ID or an Adobe ID or what have you, I get the same widgets. And that Sony Pictures trailer widget I took off the web page, dragged onto the desktop, is now appearing on my mobile phone. And when I go into that widget, it's the exact same widget that was living in the web page. Also, we're going to enable widgets on TV. Best use case here, of course, is video, so we can imagine something like a picture-in-picture -picture view of all your favorite channels. So let me get out of this and show you a working build of what we have here. I have Nitro running in a dock on my desktop. It's a very simple widget. I can go in and get the time, not very useful, kick out of there. So let me add another widget. Let's scroll down here and add a weather widget. It's going to ask me to launch it and set some parameters here, so 94103. It's going to give me sunny San Francisco, hopefully. If the network cooperates, there it is, and I get an extended forecast, so I can escape out of that. So let me launch our mobile, mobile emulator we have running on the desktop. It's going to ask me to log in. So when I log in, it knows who I am, and because it knows who I am, it's giving me the same synchronized widgets appearing on my mobile device. And yes, it's showing me that exact same widget that was on the desktop. So I'm going to add a widget from my mobile device here. Let's do a simple RSS widget. And I'll scroll down here and I'll set the title, My RSS. It's going to ask me for an RSS URL. I have one on the desktop saved here. And when I do that, it's going to load up all of my stories from the RSS feed. And of course, we'll support rotation as well. You can get that here. I'll kick back out of here and add one last widget, the ubiquitous YouTube widget that everyone and their mother has developed. Go in here and let me username 321nitro. When I do that, it's going to load up you know, top videos and all of my favorite videos, so my favorite music video. I can load that in as well. So that is Nitro. And if you are interested in creating widgets for our new widget platform, please email us at portablewidgets at adobe.com. That's portablewidgets at adobe.com. If you want to find out more about Nitro, Come to my session tomorrow. Experiences at scale across devices at 2 p.m. Thanks.